Hello everyone and welcome back to our Let's Play of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Angry Lot of Hurt. Yep, Langry uh, Lot of Hard Edition. Did I already talk to you? Nah, well we almost did. That's weird. I guess I guess we I probably thought we talked to her about everything because we. I, I think it popped up a new thing. Yeah, exactly. But it popped up with any ideas because you know, Phoenix Wright does that. So, did you see or notice anything that stuck out to you? You we do. All right, right. I'm just, I don't know why. Nah. Well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? What? I, I think it's pretty apparent what she said, Phoenix. <laughs> uh, Phoenix Wright likes hurting people. Indeed. Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you. This just... This is just too much, I say. What is too much? It's being a cult photographer. That's some scary stuff. So I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. <laughs> Can you just jump around like that? It's like, mm, I'm I, I'm done taking pictures of ghosts. So I'm just gonna go take pictures. Well, I assume no one is paying her. Yeah, so that's fair. <laughs> she probably lives off magic. <laughs> oh, she she lives off magic and a her giant apple bud. And her, yeah. Well, you know, I was, are you calling her a whore then? No, I thought she could eat her own butt. Isn't oh. that what Epicheck does? Okay, yeah, probably so. Cause I heard, I I understood she could live off a big giant apple butt, and I was like, it sounds like you're accusing her of being a whore. <laughs> I mean, obviously she said too, but I don't think I even have to accuse her of that. She's Epicheck. Yeah, that's fair. Going after photos, the more within your reach from now on, more glamorous, glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh yeah! What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Oh, jeez. Did you hear that? No. Okay, it doesn't matter then. There's you just can't some... Can't you? No, there was just some noise outside that startled me. Um, honestly, Are you shy? no, I mean, it didn't startle me that bad. I think it's a reasonable reaction. I'm sorry you didn't hear it. It sounded like, um, it was off in the distance enough. I'm not worried for myself or anything. So he can continue, but it sounded like the gunshots. I don't know. I mean, you're in America. It's... Looking big up to gunshots. Hey, I live like in every like... Every morning a tank goes by, he's like, yeah, I'm about to wake <laughs> up. I live in like an old people neighborhood. Exactly! As much as, as, much as I would love to live in... Life is old World War One tanks. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> That'd be pretty surprising. Uh, in my but... days when I wanted to get kids of the lawn, I used to tank. <laughs> and the government oh. forbid it. Damn man. communists. <laughs> If, if I ever have grandkids, that's what I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna be like, man, back in my day, whatever, whatever I didn't like someone, I just brought out my tank. They, they can't do that anymore. Damn kids. Like, Tanks are turtle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember, I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. I actually did. Two even. A seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Wait, I, I, you know, I said she wanted to switch jobs, but I guess she still wants a paycheck for now. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't really blame her. She went through the trouble. <laughs> she went through the trouble of, you know, taking the pictures of something she didn't really, you know. I mean, she only took like two pictures. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not exactly a, the most sellable portfolio. I feel one of those pictures was just you here. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I also love how sensational story is highlighted, like it's important somehow. <laughs> it's gonna be super important in the case. It's gonna decide everything. Probably so. It was I mean... actually the press that cared, the guy. <laughs> it was actually the press. <laughs> Cause the press. 
Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go up to the, the judge and he's gonna have to be like, hmm. What's your proof that the press did this? I was like, this wasn't just a story, Judge. This was a sensational story. Yes. Yeah. Well, Lada, sorry, but my journalist sense is burning inside me. Did you hear an apple sense inside you? <laughs> my apple senses are tingling. Exactly. Hate to cut and run, but I'm headed back in. Gotta beat those cops and scoop of the century! Wahahahahahaha! Then she turned into. Dracula. Apparently <laughs> so, jeez, look at that laugh there. Aww. Uh, I don't know who is scarier, Lada or the spirits. I does it feel like we've been through this before? I don't know. It's your weird Phoenix look. <laughs> Because, yeah, not only, because not only do you have amnesia, but you also have deja vu. Huh. Exactly. Yeah. Isn't it like impossible to have deja vu and amnesia at the same time? You know, I think I think it is. Well, I don't know. Actually, wouldn't deja vu kind of be like caused by amnesia more? So like it, it more of probably a cure for amnesia, but like I don't know. If you, if you had, a, like, amnesia, and you walked in your house, and you weren't, like, completely cured, you'd probably get, like, a sense of deja vu. Like, I think I've, I think I've been here before. Hmm. I'm not probably. sure. But it's not like he had this case before. Yeah, so he's just having a deja vu of something that he didn't have. <laughs> that is fair. I'm not sure why he has deja vu right now. Uh, June 19th, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. Oh no, with that one. Oh dear, madam, you have such impeccable timing. I was gonna be like, I'm not a woman, but then like, oh no, it's for. Yeah, like, what is a buzz? Um, alright everyone, listen up! You too, pal! I'm gonna give you all a brief update. <laughs> Gum okay. Gumshoe, ace news reporter. That's I've watched very that. nice of him. I don't, I, I'm surprised he does. I, is it? Is he allowed to? I'm not sure. I I guess. I don't know. But uh, you know, I I'd watch a new show starring Detective Gumshoe. Before I talk about how gum doesn't go on TV, so they probably so. I well, I'd at least give him a try watching it. It might it might get bad. Right now, it looks like the investigations aren't going to be done until real late. That why? Sense. It's not that much of a case. <laughs> I'm not sure why myself. Uh, apparently, it's a, it's a pretty big thing. I'm assuming they literally just sent Detective Gumshoe, and he's probably, like, going... He's probably just in there, like, talking to Maya through how gum doesn't go on trees. And he's like, he's like, no, no, you don't get it. You don't get it. The, the re this is why you don't kill people, because gum doesn't go on trees. Do you think this woman goes on trees? I, I sure hope not. I don't want any more of her. <laughs> It'd be horrifying. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here until under the roof of the Fey Manor tonight. If this was a Japanese game that was even more Japanese, people would start dying now. <laughs> uh, indeed, man. That'd be that'd be unfortunate. This is a Japanese horror game, and everyone just starts dying. But um, this well, is I mean, there's at least like half of these that I wouldn't mind if it died. That that is a point. Uh, what a mess! I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police, and I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. But you can't see how crazy this you did go on a quest to talk to a ghost. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you don't often, like, even then you probably don't go on a quest to talk to a ghost with the idea that your best friend's probably going to commit the murder. But yeah, it's fun. I know, for him, he's pretty used to this by now. Yeah. Didn't I already play Maya one time before that? Wasn't that like when the other woman got murdered? 
Yeah, you're, no. you're, you're a mentor. They framed someone. Um, because they had they, the whole written the name on the blood. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think she did. Maybe that's why Phoenix is like, this is, this is getting deja vu. Because we gotta save Maya again. Jeez. Only back then we didn't know that she was such a bitch. Yeah, exactly. This time we can just walk away and not feel bad. Ah, uh, yep. And that's, and that's how you get to be known as an ace attorney. I'm walking away from all the cases. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey, I I mean, I could technically say I've never lost a, a case. I've never taken a case, but I've also never lost one. Yep. June yeah, 20th. 8.02 a.m. Fay Manor Meditation Room. <sighs> ah, morning. Guess I must have nodded off at some point. Well, were you really planning on not doing that? <laughs> oh, it's the morning. Damn it, I fell asleep. <laughs> I, don't... I guess he planned not to sleep. He, maybe he's a vampire. But maybe, yeah. Maybe he wanted to be, like, as not awake as he could be, so when he went to trial, he could, you know, not feel bad when he fucked. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, my I, I, ju I just couldn't sleep. <laughs> I just yeah, I had think... coffee for, like, the last 18 hours. <laughs> sorry, exactly. Maya. Uh, hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center. ASAP. So what was the point of sleeping there if you're not actually going to do anything else there? I don't know. It's uh, like we should all stay here and then go home afterwards. Yep. I. It's not like they questioned you or anything. Yeah. Maybe that was supposed to be implied, but I don't know. Like, they, they, they certainly never stated that that was a thing that happened, so... I don't know why she was like, hey, let's all stay over tonight. Let's have a sleepover. I know I'm a colossal whore, but come on, let's just all have a sleepover. It'll be fun. Maybe she tried to molest you. Maybe so. I hope not, but she probably did. June 20th, 10.34 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Oh no, that woman. Yeah. She's Nick! Fine. Nick! Nick! I'm a colossal whore. I... Maya! What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. I mean, I thought I would, like, shoot him once, or, like, stab him once, but bows? <laughs> I know! That's pretty intense. I don't think I can handle both. Uh, calm down, Maya. Take it deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. See? Said that yeah. was the case. <laughs> I Indeed. finally. finally get to see you again, and. It's not your fault. You didn't do it. It's totally your fault. You totally did it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, I, I did it. I can't, that person. She even agrees. See? I guess then the case is done, let's go home. Yeah, you're, you're admitting your guilt this time. We don't even need to try. But that wasn't you. Doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I wonder how this would go in real life. Be like, oh, go to this, me and kill the guy. <laughs> yeah. Pretty uh, hard to prove that one. It, it, it would be pretty hard to prove that. I, I don't think it'd go very well for you in real life if you just, oh, of course, possessed me. I was too weak, and I couldn't control the spirit, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. No one wants to be nice to me. <laughs> Indeed. Look at my cookie. It's amazing. Give it a lick. Sorry, Nick, but there's nothing really special about it. What? Take that back, you whore! <laughs> I'm gonna beat your face in with this cookie, and then make you eat it. <laughs> Yeah, oh man, that sounds pretty metal. It is uh, a magic cookie. Yep. Hey, look. Girlie, she definitely has more than me. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you saying she has more balls than you? <laughs> Probably. She's actually a guy. She actually... 
Yeah, if she's actually Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> Who I think the next master should be. I mean, she got more spiritual power than me. And she really works hard at her training. You know, I'm sure they have some way to measure it, maybe, I guess. But honestly, the way they talk about spiritual power makes me think about Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that was just... maybe like Michael Contrali and thingies. Yeah. The Star Wars thingy. <laughs> exactly, it's like, how do you determine this? Uh, is there is there a way, or is this her spiritual power just off the charts and over 9,000 for no reason? She's just a prodigy, even though I mean, she's make that, probably... Huh? To make that hair that way, you probably need quite a lot of spiritual power. Probably. She's probably just always, like, ex you know, using spiritual power to keep that hair up. It's not actually a hair bands. Well, I mean, well, yeah, the curly one is even more impressive than Maya's. So, yeah. see, that's how they judge spiritual power, by the quality of your hairstyle. <laughs> Which means um... that everyone in Final Fantasy be amazing. <laughs> uh, indeed. Uh, they, they would be. That would be fair. Phoenix's hairstyle isn't that bad. Maybe he's That's secretly not bad. It's, yeah. It doesn't have giant circles of, like, whatever. Like, I don't know which. She, she looks like she has a pretzel on her head. <laughs> she does kind of look like she has a pretzel on her head, yeah. I don't know what's up with that. Like, Maya's makes sense that buns, you know... Like, it's kind of an odd-ish style, but it's still like that bun, you know, it's it's a bun, it makes sense. But, I don't think I've ever seen anyone's hair like pearls. Totally, I've not gone off track. Imagine if you just do the judge, like, uh, I want to debate <laughs> the hair quality here. <laughs> I know, that'd be pretty amazing, and he'd probably just be like, oh, I'm, I'm bald, could we not? <laughs> uh, and he'd be like, but you have an awesome beard, that counts. Yeah. And then you win the case by default. Probably so. Also, I know we all we probably mention this every time, but still, just it, it is always funny looking back on the guard because like it's the most out of place thing in the game. Like everyone else is, you know, has the general anime style of Phoenix, right? And there's like this kind of realistic looking guard in the back there, just like maybe, being maybe he's style. actually like. Maybe he's a human who went, uh, who got put into the Pony universe, and then from the Pony universe got put into the this universe. Man, and now I feel bad for him. Like the Pony universe sounds awesome. That you just get pulled in the Phoenix Wright universe to stand in that one place for all of eternity. Sounds yeah. Sounds terrible. He, he's both unlucky and lucky at the same time. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's keep going before people decide that 17 mm -hmm. minutes on one screen is too much. Yeah, yeah. Did you read this? I'm not yes. sure. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Talk about bringing the mood down even further. Like, <sighs> <laughs> you stupid bitch being so <laughs> depressive and in prison. You should beat I, your face in. I should beat your face in. You don't have any right to be sad. You're totally just being just murdered. <laughs> uh, so, tell me about those changelings. Well, what about those? How do you feel about those Swiss? You know where the changelings are at. Yeah. <laughs> do you know where the changelings? We're seeing changelings. Where are changelings at? So you're the master of something of the Korean school of channeling. Actually, my mother is not for now. You have a mother. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. Why didn't we meet like her? Disappeared or something? Uh, maybe, maybe I she still is, even though she disappeared. Yeah, maybe so. It's like I swear that there was a mention that Misty Fay like disappeared or something. But many people think that channeling isn't real; that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Well, I mean, you, your breast boob lady kind of came back <laughs> from the dead. Yeah. Well, I guess we kind of have to believe you. You gotta I mean, believe in the breast. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to believe that your breasts just magically change size without like magic. Everything else might happen, but that that is impossible. <laughs> that's, a, that's pretty impossible. You know, your personality might change, and you might be able to like give us information we you wouldn't know. But your boobs, uh, I can't believe that. Boobs, boobs oh, never lie. 
Unless plastic surgery happens, I guess boobs kind of, but you know, whatever. Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. Maya's channeling a spirit. Not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. Which usually means her boobs get bigger. And it usually means she becomes 20% less annoying. Yep. <laughs> it's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. Speaking of which... <laughs> exactly. Even when she's bloodstained, she's less annoying. <laughs> yeah. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. Mm -hmm. What happened? What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down a course from him. Then I gave him a pitch slap. <laughs> We closed our eyes, and I began to the channeling. In fact, speaking of bitch slaps, kind of? Is it just me, or does her hand look weird? Um, but she has like the one finger out, but all the other ones could. Right. I don't know, maybe it's just the shading, like the shadow shading-ish thing on, like, it just, to me it looks weird on her hand. But yeah, I think it's because you see the second hand, like, that one behind it slightly. Yeah, yeah. You're probably right. Yeah, I think that is what's causing that effect. Um, and the rest of it's probably just the fact that, of course, it's in, like, black and white because, you know. Because everything in this game has been black and white. Yeah, because. Fucking racist. I know. Oh, uh, what well, you got? They gotta get something against dogs or something? Sound kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. Well, a guy kind of got murdered. Phoenix, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix is the best. Yeah. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Just all over the place. Hmm. Maybe she should be used to that. <laughs> Probably so. Oh, well, but I'm... I do remember having a dream. Oh, I get more into my and her blood spurts. Just sounds weird. A dream? Well, that doesn't sound right. But what do you have a dream against dreams now? Well, I mean, I don't know much about how spirit channeling works, but I mean, um, you know, that, that in itself already sounds weird that she had a dream while she was spirit channeling, doesn't it? Not to me, but okay. <laughs> my name, I mean, my, in my CV, if someone takes, if, if a spirit takes away your body, your spirit has to go somewhere else. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure where her spirit goes. I guess that makes sense, but I don't know. I assumed that it wouldn't be a dream, but I guess I'll see. What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. Pretty fun. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. Man. I it was really tacky. I s <laughs> Indeed. Man, I'm sure I've brought it up, like, multiple times, but there's a horror game where that's a thing that happens. I guess it's just always, like, it's, it's a thing that doesn't, like, you'd think it would happen more in horror games, but, like, there's actually, like, a sequence where you're trapped in a coffin and you, like, have to knock on it, and it's, it's kind of interesting. Oh, cool. I mean, it's a common game. It meant something like that. Right, well, I mean, huh? Nothing. I don't know. Because, I mean, yeah, I understand, like, being buried is pretty common. And, um, you know, they're actually even trying to, like, get out of the coffin thing is common. But I don't think there's very many games where you're actually just, like, trapped in a coffin and you, you know, have to work your way out. No, I guess the idea is that normally there's not much you can do in a coffin. Right, right. That is fair. 
I mean, even in that game, there's not much you can do. And in fact, I don't believe you can survive this sequence. I believe you can get out the, out of the coffin, but even if you do, I believe the um, you know, killer is pretty close by anyway. So you're just you're just you're fucked. But it's kind of like in, um, yeah, it's a game where you play like multiple characters, and uh, some of them are just like already dead when the game starts, pretty much. So yeah, okay, that's the thing. I I see. I have no idea what to say to that. It was a really familiar smell too. Was it lemons? <laughs> Tell me it was lemons. <laughs> oh man, I hope it was lemons under the ground. What is my dried with the smell of lemons? <laughs> yeah, I uh, can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. Maybe it was the smell of death. You're a murder investigator. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was the smell of... I don't know. It's, it was the smell of failure, which is what you always smell like, Maya. Ah. Ah. It's bad. I guess this is... <laughs> yeah. I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Please make sure you... What? Yeah, what? It's what I was thinking. Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. Oh, okay. Uh, just expecting that you know that. Well? But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm, I'm, I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person. We seized two hands. Maybe you only used one hand. <laughs> How do you know? Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, maybe like the the nurse held the knife in her mouth while she stabbed the guy. Could be a thing. Think it like that. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you lose. I'm sure. Stop it, bitch. Every bitch that you through this last window. Yep. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. But you just told me not to. <laughs> no, seriously. You're a very confused woman. <laughs> She's pretty good. Oh, but come on. What, what woman isn't confused? Right, now we're just getting sex. Uh, that, that was the idea. Don't worry, I will. What is the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. Isn't it always tomorrow? I, There's never been a case where it wasn't tomorrow. I know. Like, like we say, as usual, zero prep time. Uh, because, yeah. It's kind of funny now that you mention it, because, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous how often it is tomorrow, but I guess if we had all the prep time in the world, we'd probably win all of our cases easily, because, you know, we're already oh, pretty yeah, good at our jobs. We already win all our cases easily. <laughs> it's fair. Alright, I'm going now. Wait. Hmm? This jewel. This is called a. Ma ma blah blah blah. I don't. What the fuck do you. Ma I don't know. Magatama, I think. Magatama. It's a magical charm and it always protected me. That's just why that you have been accused of murder two times at least. I know. Ah, oh, seriously. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you the the goddess of bad luck or whatever they called that other chick. I have that one. Give this, give this to Pearly. I'm sure she'd lend you her spiritual powers. I received from my wait. She can just give me stuff. Is that how it works? You know she's like. So you just give her a gun. I know. Ah. Uh, it probably would let me know. She this still thing. has it on her. Yeah, I know. She saw it like on her necklace. Not sure how that works. Yeah, it has a different color. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe this is a different thing that she just like always kept in her pocket. Let's use it on you. My only chance is it's small, but it has a deep, profound aura about it. Look at it. Oh, 
there. Make sure you show that to Pearly, okay, Nick? I'm sure she'd be a big help to you. <laughs> that was an interesting pause. Was it not showing up? Uh, yeah, the screenshot falls. Ah, okay. Well, that's fine. We'll probably go back to, um... Go in religion at the part, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um... I'll, I'll go to Korean Fellow Jack's time. For now, I'll just go back to right in the law offices and probably find there's nothing here. Phew. Feels like I've been gone forever. It's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Okay. That's what it's over here for. Ah, here it is, right on top of my desk. It's the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Newspaper clipping one added to the court record. Okay, it's nice. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Take care.